Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Slowly but steadily, AWS is catching up when it comes to Generative AI. Their Amazon Q tool, which was released sometime in 2022, is catching up and improving a lot in the recent months. I already have covered this Amazon Q in bit of a detail in my previous video, but in this video, I'm going to show you one new recent feature of this tool which has really taken it to a new level. That feature is inline chat with Amazon Q agent. Behind the scene, it is using AWS technology, especially it is using AW Anthropic Sonnet Cloud 3.5 model to bring in all the AI to 4. If you don't know what Anthropic Cloud Sonnet 3.5 model is, please search my channel. I have covered it in great detail in my multiple videos on the channel. In very simple words, what this Amazon Q developer is, it is an AI powered coding assistant. You can use it as an extension in few of the most popular code editors like VS Code or JetBrains, as you can see on this screen. You can even use it in Visual Studio IDE, plus you can use it on command line in macOS. I'm going to show you how you can get it installed in VS Code. So go to this website, which is aws.amazon.com. And then from there, just go to this marketplace of Visual Studio where you can download this Amazon Q. This is an ex uh, extension for VS Code. Or you could just simply open your VS Code editor. And then in the extension on the left hand side, you can simply search for something like Amazon Q. And you see that this is Amazon Q. Make sure that you click on it and on the right hand side, you make sure that it is from amazon.com, which is a verified developer of this extension. And then simply click on install. It is installing and keep the auto update selected because there are very, very frequent updates here. And you see that um, it is already there. Next, we need to sign in. Now for signing in, you would need to have an AWS builder ID or you need to have your AWS credentials from your AWS account. So you see on the left hand side, either you can use it for free. So I'm just going to expand it a bit. The free usage is a bit limited, but still not bad. Or you could go with the pro license. Now I'm going to go with the builder ID. So I have just selected it as you can see in the blue and then click on continue. If you don't know what AWS Builder ID is, I would highly suggest that you search my channel. I have just done a video where I have shown how to get a free AWS Builder ID. Okay, so now it is asking me that you want to go to open to external website and then I'm just going to say open here. It is going to open the AWS website on my system. And there you go. So it is asking me that, okay, here, if you don't have builder ID, you can create one as I already have one. So I'm just going to uh, click sign in and let me put in my email address and password. So I have put in my email address and password. Let's click on sign in. Let's wait for it to log in. I'm just going to say not now and then click on allow access. And you see that I have allowed the access to my VS code. So let's go back to VS code and there you go. We have our Amazon Q all set up here where you can start chatting with it. So let me show you how it works. I'm just going to just trim it down a bit like this will be better. Okay, so but before I move forward, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so enough talk. Let's see how can we use this. Now, if you look on the left hand side, I would highly suggest that you spend some time uh, getting yourself familiar with the interface. So it is telling you what it does. Now, you can simply just type here slash 
and then it is telling you all the options which you can see like you can generate the code with the dev you can transform the code maybe for example you want to upgrade a java code or python code you can do that and then similarly you can clear the session or get the help so for example uh, maybe i'll just open a new file i'm just going to click here and then i'll just click here maybe i'll just create a new file i'll call it test.py and this is my test.py it says the start typing to get suggestions so this is the inline one so i'm just going to say print press tab and it has already done the hello world you can see or maybe i'll just say my variable and then you can just simply say so anything you like is equal to test and then it is all already showing you all the options so you get the idea that there is a um, this inline access available but i just want to show you a bit more for example you can just make a block and then with control capital i once you select it there you can see that you can enter the instructions for q at the top you can just say write me a python function to display this variable my variable and press enter there you go you see so it has given you that in uh, green it has made the changes if you want to accept it press enter and it will be accepted or you can simply press escape and it won't be doing anything there so this is the beauty of it now on the very left hand side at the bottom you can see we also have this queue so if you click on it it is going to open that function again now another thing is that you can uh, maybe just maybe make a block of it and you can just say transform and but it is not a java code you can transform your java or any other code to uh, for upgrade so for example if you have your java 8 code uh, or maven project then you can simply upgrade it now you can also say something like okay uh, can you describe this code and press enter it is generating the code and all that stuff so let's wait and you can see on the left hand side that it is just reviewing the code which is which i have provided and then it just says that it can just these are the few of the suggestions which i can accept or i can refuse so i'm not going to do anything here i'm just going to uh, remove everything here maybe i will just go there and say uh, i just want to show you the inline one so i'm just going to say control i and then i'm going to say create me a python program to build a cal sorry calculators with four separate functions for addition sub subtraction multiply and division let's press enter and you see that amazon q is generating there you go how quick that is it's still generating so i'll just go here so i'll just say enter and it has given me this so if i go up so add two number subtract two number multiply two number and all that stuff and it has even given me the loop the whole program is here now i can refactor the code which means that i can rewrite the code so if i just sorry i'll just go here and then I'm just going to say um, control I and then I'll just say can you convert all these four functions into one function press enter let's see what it does and I will let it run so that you would know what is happening there you go you see so one is red one is green so if you accept it it will delete the red one and it will accept the green one so i'm just going to press enter here there you go you see the red one has gone and we have now just the green one 
So this is how good this Amazon Q is and just imagine this is all for free just with your builder ID. There are few limitations here which you can check on the website which is uh, profile.aws.amazon.com or this Amazon Q's website where it will be showing you what it can be done but this is what I really am liking about this Amazon Q which is free and this is going to be a real I would say challenger for a lot of open source um tools there which like client and there are various other which i have covered on the channel which run on local models uh, but because it is using i believe anthropic lot solid 3.5 at the back end so the quality is obviously better than the olava based models which are the quantized models but anyway i think real good stuff from aws credit has to be given where it is due also i would like to introduce you to the mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices and really good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so do check them out so if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching